Hello everyone, Pally Tom here, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3! Very different intro than normal for us today. I was wandering around while the previous episode was rendering, looting all of the goodies that I could, and when I approached these goblins by the windmill, they said, Oh, you came back! And they decided to fight me. Now let's keep some stuff in mind here. I think some very specific things had to happen for these guys to be mad. We did not use the power of the tadpole to influence them. We just kind of told them they were great and that we wanted to leave without doing anything bad here. Since then, I've joined the goblins. I've joined the absolute. I am confirmed to be one of the leaders of the goblins in the previous video. And this guy's still mad at me. I'm kind of mad that he's mad at me, if I'm totally honest, because this guy shows up in act two and maybe even further in the game as well. Uh, so, we're just gonna have to kill him. Of course, with this being on honor mode, I only have one save file. There's no going back. There's no fixing this. We have to live with our actions. I would say he has to live with his actions, but... Well, let me do a flourishing attack, because I don't think he's gonna get out of here. Let me turn that passive back on. This is our new sharpshooter. It's gonna make it a little bit more difficult for us to land our attacks, but if we do land them... 37% is a little too low. If we do land them, it's going to be a ridiculous amount of damage. So, before we attack, we do have the ability to go first, which is very nice. I'm going to go ahead and put a fairy fire on four of the goblins here. It did not affect the goblin boss. That is unfortunate. Uh, Shadowheart's turn is pretty much done. We'll have her stand off to the side. We're going to see Astarian go in with his Rage of the Tiger Heart. Now, with this, Astarian is able to attack multiple enemies at the same time and have the chance of bleeding them out with a little bit of extra dot damage. So if I target this this way and go for the swing, we see math. Whoa! I give up. I'm a mercy, please. Whoa! I know things. If you let me live, I'll make it worth your while. Uh, I promise. Yes, tell me the things you know. Makes your blood boil. You could give in to the rage and end the wicked little maggot in one strike. Wait, is this barbarian specific dialogue? Something useful. Your head aches as rage fights against reason. <laughs> Ignore the rage. Listen to your head. There is nothing to gain from being rash. Yes. Calm down, Astarian. You've only been a barbarian for one combat encounter so far. Chill out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I will give him some bardic inspiration for this to help his rolls. He needs a 10. He's trying to reason with himself, trying to calm down. And he had disadvantage on the rolls, so he only rolled an eight. Should we try again? I will. I know for sure this goblin shows up later in the game. So if we can save him, that's a four. It rolls up to a 10, perfect. The veil of rage wavers. Your blood seems to cool in your veins. Wow. Well, what do you say? I've played through the game with two barbarians now, and I've never seen dialogue like that. Talking you might live if it's worth my while, he says. M -m my lot are kept nearby. I can get you inside. No hassle. You can loot it, do whatever. There's a hidden path. B -b 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 past the, the bridge into the camp. Over to the side before you reach the first guards. I easy. He just ratted out the goblins. What? All right, give me everything of value you have. <laughs> All right, just don't hurt me. <laughs> well, I didn't expect that to play out that way. And it also looked like Astarian had a very quick loot window, but didn't gain anything. I Oh, I wonder if I gained them. Okay, so most of the loot you're seeing in my inventory here on Dungan is from looting not only the Goblin, uh, excuse me, the Druid Grove, but also the overgrown ruins over here. I looted those as well. The Goblin Camp itself is completely abandoned, which is another reason that I was so surprised there was a combat encounter by the windmill still. Super caught off guard by that. Very nice attention to detail. This is a new traitor. This is Glomp the Looter. 
I asked him what happened. I've scavenged all sorts. I said scavenge all kinds. I can actually say it again. Where are the rest of the goblins? On their way to Moonrise with her ladyship. They left me here to make sure we ain't left nothing valuable behind. I think that's really, really cool. Uh, so I've been trading him basically everything I could find. Uh, he doesn't have a new inventory for the day, so he's almost out of money. So I'm almost done here. But we've gotten to know this guy really well. We've made quite a lot of gold off of him, and we're going to need that gold because there's still a lot more items here in Act 1 that I need to buy. Oh, I should also say that I've taken all the explosive barrels and I've sent them back to my camp. Uh, but that really shouldn't be a surprise to anyone at this point. You should probably just assume I'm going to do that on every single playthrough. Onto the easy path. And I suppose there's even more food and stuff we can sell, or excuse me, steal from this guy when his back is turned. He's definitely not going to be paying attention to that. Well, now I'm even more curious. With the goblins gone, what happens if I go do this? I'm going to drink a potion of animal speaking. And as we're leaving the blighted village going out from the south, this is the bridge that we were on before where we saw the ambush. If we cut to the north, there are a few animals that we could talk to. One of them was rumored to be the owl bear that killed that first guy with the tadpole. The one who told us about the true souls that died earlier. But before we get to the owl bear, Hey, it's okay, doggo. How you doing? Who's that right there? Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. Mm, what happened? I told, I told you, you to, to go. go. Oh, settle down. I'm not an enemy, little buddy. I could peer at his collar. Perception isn't my best. I'm very good at persuasion. I'm just going to tell him he's a good boy. I don't think we need animal friendship. I think we're fine. He's a good boy. He knows it too. Oh, didn't roll up high enough. I will use inspiration for that. Oh my God. I don't want to cast friends because he might be mad at me if I do it. But I've already used inspiration. We're going in. We got a 30 on that roll. Mm, there's death in your scent, but not in your words. Yeah, got a good heart. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. Uh, your friend is dead. Don't think he's gonna wake up, but Of course he will. And then we'll return home. Uh, what happened to him exactly? Prove the man is dead and to shout at the corpse. I don't think he's gonna like that. We were attacked. We're cackling furry things on two legs. Oh, it sounds like sound. goblins. It was strange, Actually, rotten, evil. No, that doesn't sound like goblins. Knolls. Knolls. Yeah. Um, come on, you could travel with me if you like. That's, I don't think he's going to go for it. No, I won't leave him. If he doesn't wake up, follow my scent, okay? I have a camp. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. Oh, well, that was nice. That's the best outcome I've ever had. Oh my God, we're doing it. We're really learning from the past. Now, the owl bears that killed our friends earlier on the road right over here. You can find the cave normally by looking for some owl bear tracks. And I believe as we get closer to this, it's nest yes, must be we do find them. There is a spear you can craft for doing this encounter. We got half of the broken spear on the true souls that died on the road. I think I've already sold it though, so we're not in here for that. What I am curious about, dead goblin on the left, That's is dead. sometimes, no well not yes. sometimes, when you do this encounter, one of the, the owl bears show up at the goblin camp, but there's no one at the goblin camp. Uh -oh. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. What's this? Something weak, something tender. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. Soft meat. Mm, you're injured. There's still half a spear in your head. I could get that out for you. 
It's a splinter. Well, I've got a bigger threat than you with worse. Um, just allow me to leave. I'm no threat to your cub. You know, uh, I think we could pass this. Uh, let's take friends again. We got a 15. You're small, weak. Killing you would be a waste of time. You can go, but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds. You know what? I'm just going to let the owlbear live here with its mom. You know what? That's the best outcome. Not tearing this family apart. Back up at the Blighted Village are our ogre friends still here. They are still here. And I'm actually marked by the Absolute this time. Tastes like chicken. That's a hand. That's no a person. chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune <laughs> favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show is the brand of the absolute. And for the first time ever, show him your brand. I see. <laughs> How regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Food? No food. Food? Not food. Friend? Yes. Good. I notice you don't bear a brand of your own. I've no use for the absolute or any god. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss Goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. That is a good deal. No talk. Oh, I wonder how much damage he just took. Forget the goblins. You should be fighting for Dungan. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. Well... I, uh, wait, just a thousand gold after you fight for me. No, 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 no. See, I don't want to pay them at all. I'll pay you with the flesh of the fallen. You'll have your fill. That's going to be a high roll. We need a 20. I am adding friends to this. Will it be enough? We got a 14 high roll. That goes up to a 25. Yes, fight for Dungan. A brilliant notion and a boon to my aching belly. We have a deal, my tasty kibble. Take my bone horn. One His blow bone horn? the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises and never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre, kill everyone around. <laughs> well, you are quite articulate for an ogre. Am I not astonishing? Yeah, you really are. A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand, and you a delicacy. Were I so lucky? Now, I am very guilty of always holding Get on. Close. When you are ready, sound the horn. Sounds good, Lump. Thank you. Very guilty of holding on to this item for way too long. In fact, in our very first playthrough where I was the Dark Urge Zen, right here on YouTube, I carried this with me until the end of the game for the final boss, and then I was like, I'm going to call it in, and it's going to be hilarious, these level four or whatever they are. 
ogres just jump out and have a good time. But you see, the Warhorn only travels for so far in the air. They can only hear it if this is an enemy. That doesn't make any sense either. They can only hear it if they're close enough to it. So today, I am about to pick a very, very difficult fight that I have no business being in yet. In fact, maybe I shouldn't do this. This is honor mode, but I'm hoping that the ogres sway the fight in my favor. Now, before we do that, what's going on in here? Hello? As you approach, a guttural scream and a succession of quick bangs rattle the door. Then, a low moan. Someone, or something, is having a bit of fun. Just leave. <laughs> There's no sense in us interrupting that, is there? If you are a dagger wielder, there's a very good one right on the hill here, stuck inside a piece of meat at the fire. I'm having a hard time looking at that for some reason. Well, across the bridge we go. I don't have a shovel for this yet. That's actually starting to haunt me a little bit. I need to find one. This side of the bridge is very, very scary. Uh, in fact, like leaving someone back just so I have an anchor, just in case things don't go right. I honestly don't think it's a bad idea. Like this 300 gold to res my party. If I die right now, you know how many hours I have to re go through? I don't get paid hourly. I get paid when people watch videos. They didn't stand it. The creature's right. eyes roll back in its head, equal parts bliss and agony. She'd eaten. Feasted and yet looking into her eyes, <laughs> you can see it wasn't enough. She's still hungry. Wait, I have animals speaking on. Can I talk to it? Come <gasps> see, my flesh becomes new flesh. This is bad. This is bad. Did I not pass a check? Was you there no what comes next before you see? It. Oh no! Snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. We pass the arcana check. We pass it. Dolls. Vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. Melee attack strike while the beast is vulnerable. Seriously, we do not want to see what happens if this gets out of hand. We rolled a natty 20 with advantage, and we needed it. You land a swift strike against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. As the life fades from her eyes, the knoll within her dies too, stillborn. Okay. We knew about these gnolls already. They attacked Scratch, the dog, their owner, on the way here. This hyena is starting to run up the hill and getting away from our party. We literally cannot allow that to happen. We are going to see Lazel cast her... Does she not have it? Oh, she could... Oh, no, here it is. Rush attack. I'm hoping it'll get me close to the bloated hyena to deal some big damage. And I was hoping take it down pretty swiftly. I am going to action surge so that I can swing again. There we go. First enemy is down. With my bonus action, I'm going to use the thorn whip on the hyena to try to move it towards me. But unfortunately, it did not move. So, level two, Scorching Ray comes out from Shadowheart on the hyena on the ramp. That is enough to take it down as we smell seared flesh coming in from the north side. Dungan looks further down the path and fires off his hand crossbows at one of the sleeping hyenas, dealing 32 damage. Unbelievable. The final hyena, hyena at the end has not risen just yet, but if we are not swift, it will. Astarian puts aside his large uh, flaming sword and shoots that bow of his. It does connect for a little bit. We're going to do the same thing on Lazelle, trying to just kill this thing before it gets up. Shadowheart's going to hold off on her turn as Dungan goes in with hand crossbows. 70% chance to hit. It does. 
And these guys did not evolve. Nothing good is born from a corpse. I agree. Nothing good is born from a corpse. Now. Let's go. Before more join us. Oh, wait. Starian's not having a good time with all this blood here. It's I feel like he's starting to lose his edge. He's getting into a frenzy a little bit. If we look to the north, there are more gnolls. Four of them this time. And this could kill my party. I am not exaggerating. This could be the end. So let's fall back. Our stats are looking pretty good right now. But we need to make sure that we approach this oh, with down. the best possible outcome. Or, uh, you know, best odds in our corner. So we're going to start off with a concentration spell from our Shadow Heart, getting Fairy Fire on all four targets here. That's going to give us advantage on all of our attacks. Shadow Heart is done for now, and she is just going to back up as far as she can go. Lazelle wants the attention on her, so she's going to move up and with our weapon use the Thorn Whip just to move them a little out of place. We're not going to be able to do too much here, but at least it's a start. With our ranged attack, I am just going to do a pushing attack, which just pushes the guy away. If it does land, unfortunately, the skill did miss. We're going to swap back to our melee weapon and end our turn right there. Dungan is going to walk up the stairs and cast Crown of Madness on the Null Fang in the back. 50% chance to land on him. Let's go for the 60 instead. There's no reason not to. Crown of Madness is going to make that target unable to differentiate between friend and foe and will simply attack the closest enemy to it, meaning the three Nulls that are surrounding it if things go well. The Null Hunter sends out a cry of fury. It now gains multiple attacks per turn. Seething Fury being used again. However, Lazel takes five damage. Are they going to follow up with another swing? It doesn't look like it so far. We do see the Null Fang attack its own friend in close proximity. Try to do something to our boy Dungan, but it did not connect. Uh, we're now going to see... Astarian move forward, blade in hand, big swing, 21 damage, and we're going to push this target back. Unfortunately, the push was not successful. Now it's the Crown of Madness turn. Let's see what they do with it. Running towards another Null and dealing six damage to their back. Was enough? That was enough to kill the target. You love to see it. From far away, Sacred Flame is going to attempt to be cast on one of the Null Hunters. I'm not sure she can get close enough to make this a reality. Let's try one more time. Not enough movement. He's clearly in range. Let's try it on the other one. It did hit and caused an explosion of radiant damage, applying a radiating orb to both of these targets. That's going to make it so they have a harder time actually connecting with my team. I'm going to do another of our thorn whips to try to move one of the gnolls closer, but unfortunately that did not work out. Now, this gnoll will attack my team, so I need to kill it before it does. Good Lord, Dungan, your damage is ridiculous. Uh, we are going to attempt to line of sight some of this incoming damage and then end our turn. We see an attack on Lazelle crit for seven damage and another one fired at Shadowheart. She's not going to react. This damage seems totally manageable so far. Astarian is going to rip up the hill with great sword in hand and swing on the Null, hitting it for 21 damage. Only one HP remaining. Uh, Shadowheart is going to continue to pursue. We are going to try the Sacred Flame. It does connect and kills off the Null in the corner. Lazel is going to continue to approach this guy, but it looks just out of range. So let's try the Thorn Whip. Thorn Whip was successful in pulling them down, but not successful in moving them closer to me. Dungan's going to approach before Lazel does her turn. 35% chance to hit. God, and there's so much damage. That is just ridiculous damage. Well, let's short rest one of three that we have for the day. That is going to give Lazel her action surge back, but it is still not giving me my Bardic Inspirations back. But 
This went so well, I feel very encouraged to continue pushing up the hill here. We are going to try to make our way this way. More blood this way. That's how you know you're going the right spot. Knoll tracks here, too. There is a cave with a very small entrance that is currently being crowded by knolls very similar to the ones that we just fought. This is once again a very difficult encounter. If things don't go our way, it can escalate very quickly in favor of the enemy. But we have a lot of things going our way right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven targets at least. Might be more up on the high ground here, too. I think we should try to take that high ground. Let's see if our party is able to sneak past the defenses of these knolls and get into position. We do see... That's the symbol of the absolute. Yeah, what the fuck? In blood. I was going to point that out as well, Starion. Does that mean we might be able to control these guys? I mean, this is only combat they are red i feel good god he's level five. Oh no um this might be a problem what does crown of madness look like on him low chance of hitting oh goodness gracious okay we're definitely gonna go for the high ground then and we'll try to hold that is there anyone up here? There is a Knoll Flesh Gnoller that is overlooking the area. Dungan is up first. Let's send a Starion and Lazel to the front. Everyone's sneaking. They're not gonna see us. We can see the sight lines from here. Uh, I feel like the first thing I want to do in this is immediately move that target back with a push or a pushing attack might be even better. Uh, let's put Shadowheart on the high ground here, too. Oh, they are taking some damage by moving in. I mean, that's something. Okay, we could literally lose the campaign here. Uh, let's see how it goes. I'm starting off with my best bet, a flourishing ranged attack. Should I hit the main guy or should I hit someone else? Path is interrupted on a lot of these targets, in fact. I'm going to try it on the Gnoller. I think I can fucking kill the Gnoller. It was 23 damage. We got pulled into the fight. The Gnoller is not dead. The Gnolls are getting a turn. I mean, I guess that kind of does make sense since there was already a fight going on here. Um, we are seeing the Zintharum on the inside throwing some more fire our direction. My main attack did not kill the target. My bonus attack does, and we received 40 damage there. Our friendly team is not in the fight yet. So here's what we're gonna do. Shadowheart is going to hold this ledge with everybody else. Ooh, maybe even over there. So Shadowheart has this channel divinity thing that we've never used before. It's Radiance of Dawn. I believe it's cast around her, it is. So I need to put her in a, in a situation where she's got a lot of enemies around her to use it. So maybe now isn't the time just yet. However, what I am going to do is summing in a flaming sphere, and I'm gonna put that flaming sphere right at the base of the stairs here. And I feel totally okay with that bringing me into combat. In fact, the flaming sphere is in combat, but Shadowheart is not, which is so insanely lucky. So I'm gonna let that flaming sphere sit there, and we are going to fire a scorching ray at the only thing I can see which is this null thing on the side. And that will bring me into combat as well as kill the Scorching Ray, or excuse me, kill off the null. <gasps> no, he has one HP, but this is at least a surprise round. So Dungan is done. They are surprised down there as the flaming ball starts to deal its damage. We are just going to attack the easiest target for us to hit and then keep doing our thing. Before this turn ends, I want to get Lazel and Astarian into the mix if I can, because this is a surprise round. It's just free damage. So I'm going to take Astarian. I'm going to bring him up to the top of the hill here, and let's see what our chances are of hitting this knoll and finishing them off. 80% chance to land. It fucking misses. That is crazy. Q 
Can Lazelle clean this up for us? She is in position. We do have a bow. Let's see it. 60% chance to land. She moves up and the shot lands true. We finished off a null on the two nulls on the first turn. That's pretty good. Let's use the thorn whip to pull the one guy that's far away towards the flaming orb. That'll help it with its damage if the target does move. It did not, so I'm gonna try to hold the high ground. And with any luck, that was enough to buy us some time. Maybe I rage on Astarian. Right now, it seems like he's totally fine. Uh, the surprise round has ended, and that is the main Null Warlord. He goes in on the Flaming Sphere using one of his very valuable attacks on basically an inanimate object. This is just summoned health that we made from nothing, and it's buying us a lot of time. The Knolls now looking for their home on the hill. Most of these are archers, so it does make sense that they'd be trying to move in on me. We see a poison arrow fire off towards Lazel, and our friendly team takes their first hit of damage. Lazel taking seven damage on top of the hill. Dungan is in such a crazy good spot. And in fact, I can see the Warlord right now as well. I do not have a concentration, so I'm going to start to change that, I think. That would take up my entire attack turn. Crown of Madness could be placed on these guys, and I think that'd be pretty effective as well. But you could argue that the Knoll down here is likely going to die pretty quick from just the damage in the area. I'm just going to do a regular shot. I uh, am going to try to aim for this dude over here on the corner. 45% chance to hit. Good lord, that is so much damage, and we'll go ahead and end our turn right there. Seething Fury coming out from one of the archers. They move away from us and fire off some acid at Astari, and he takes 10 damage up on the high ground. We are going to... I don't have any level 2 spell slots remaining. My concentration is the Flaming Sphere. We don't want to interrupt that. I'm going to cast a Sacred Flame onto Flind. This is going to deal some radi radiant damage and spawn a radiating orb above of his head because of the chest piece that we have. I do not expect our orb to do very much, so I'm going to have it try to take away some of the action economy of our enemies here. I'm then going to Tiger Heart Rage! Uh, if I can, I'd love to deal some damage to this knoll here. Looks like he's a little too far away for a melee swing, but I will shoot off our bow. Unfortunately, a critical miss. We're swapping back to melee for the rest of our turn, and I suppose we're going to end it right there. Lazel is going to turn to her side, glaive in hand, and swing on to the knoll hunter. Five targets still remaining down in the pit here. Um, I think I think we just try to hold high ground. I'm going to move Lazel down a little bit. I do want her to be the main target. She should be plenty tanky for this. And the sphere has... Oh, I thought it maybe had one more attack. It's coming towards us. Keep in mind, this guy does have a reduction to his chance to hit, but it doesn't seem like that matters with his weapon. It, deal, it dealt damage anyway, which is terrifying. Um, Dungan is up. Do we shoot the main guy or try to deal with... The Knoll's back here. Crown of Madness could work really well for us. I don't have line of sight on the other Knoll Hunter. Oh my god. Could you imagine if we get a hideous laughter or something, though? That could also be very effective. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to use one of our flourishes here. Only a 30% chance to hit. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh no. Let me turn off the passive. That'll help our chances a lot. I'm still going to have to take a step forward here regardless. So flourish with ranged, 64% chance to hit. Why do I have disadvantage? I shouldn't have disadvantage. Oh, I did both on the same one as well. Oh, that was a bad turn. That's okay. One of the hyenas down. The Flaming Sphere took, took yet another shot for us. We're getting insane value out of that. I need to continue to try to put Radiant Damage into this guy. Because if he hits us, that's going to suck. We do land it. And the Flaming Sphere will continue to hit the Hyenas. And that should be great. Now, Astarian is going to move down and take a swing on this dude. Very likely going to miss. 
No, it hit for 25 damage. And then we're going to try to push the Knoll out of our way. Unfortunately, its feet did not move. Let's see if Lazel can have a go at this. She does have a trip attack as well as a pushing attack. I kind of think the pushing attack will be better for us. 55% chance to land. It does damage. But once again, his feet do not move. I'm going to second wind here for a little bit more healing. That doesn't bring me up to full, but it brings me closer to full. We still have one HP on the hero flaming sphere. We take 17 damage from that monstrous swing though. And then a rapid onslaught of shots coming from the null hunter beneath us. Okay, we need to focus up. This is getting serious. Slashing flourish, we're putting both on Find, on Flind. We dealt 25 damage there. He definitely felt that. We have an offhand attack we can use as well. One more into Flind, but he dodges the attack. Now, Lazelle is getting barraged by arrows coming her way. All we have is a level one heal that we're going to try to use it. I'm actually going to use both main and bonus. I'm going to use all my spell slots here. I'm trying to keep Lazel healthy. That's very important. Very important. The Flaming Spheres lashes out at the Hyena, taking it down. And then we will try to threaten this other Null Hunter. Uh, that'll make it so they have a harder time landing their shots. Um, we should do Lazel's turn before Astarian's. We're going to try a tripping melee attack. 55% chance to land. It does connect. He's down on his back. We are going to action surge for another action and then swing on Flind. But can you believe it missed even after all that? Lazel chungs a potion with the rest of her action and moves a little bit closer to the enemies. We now see Astarian above his opponent with advantage. And he swings 24 damage, kills the Null Warlord. That is beautiful. Uh, we do have a bonus attack now, if we can get in range of an enemy. Uh, and I can. So we can... Actually, wouldn't this use my bonus action? Either way, I'm fine with being here. That did use my bonus action. So one of our rules with Great Weapon Master is if we crit or if we kill a target, we get an additional swing. Uh, I just need to make sure we're in a little bit better positioning for that. We are getting peppered with arrows as shot after shot after shot lands onto Astarian. If we are not careful, he could go down. Now that is not the end of the world because I think we're in control of this fight and we can just go to sleep after this. That's no big deal. I've been looting food from everywhere. I'm going to try to move forward just a little bit. Still have disadvantage on this attack, but we're going to try to land it anyway. Missing everything on the Null Hunter on the far side. Now as the other one moves away, Astarian rips it in half with that massive swing of the demonic greatsword. We cast our Sacred Flame and get another Radiating Orb. We have 100% hit rate with that spell in this combat encounter. Somehow it's still alive and the Flaming Sphere rolls its way over and jumps towards the enemy. It swings for four damage. And now this guy's actually hurting a little bit. Uh, we are going to really too heavy. I can pick up this hyena and throw it, but that doesn't really benefit me at all. I do have a ranged attack. Let's just go ahead and use it on the Null Hunter. We'll try to advance with Starion after firing off that shot. Same thing from Lazelle, staying up on the high ground and firing off another shot from her short bow. We do not get attack of opportunity with our flaming sphere, so it was able to just move away. Dungan moves a little bit closer to get a better angle. Still at a disadvantage here. Let me get a little closer. Still at a dis... Did I walk in something? There we go. Both shots land and the gnolls go down. Thank gods, you're a sweet sight. Are any of my crew still alive out there? Oh no, they're... No, it's pretty bad. This whole journey's been one grim sight after another. Gnolls, goblins... Drow. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. Eltergard? You're a long way from there. Where are you heading? You going to the gate? We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Yep. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Um, m maybe I could come. You don't... So you don't get waylaid again. You know, that's a fancy way of saying getting fucked by, by Nulls. Thanks. 
but that won't be necessary. We'll find help at Joaquin's rest. Listen, you look like you know how to handle yourself. Yeah, you know. You should meet my associates. We've got our own drinking spot by the tavern. Invitation only. Tell the fellow on the door, Little Serpent, Long Shadow. He'll take good care of you. Mm, it's not a hospitality I want. It's coins, my man. We only need a 10. We're taking guidance, too. We rolled a 26. Of course. I was just about to suggest the same thing. Of course you were. How much did you give me? Well, fantastic. So this guy has a missing shipment. You can learn a little bit more about it on... The rest of our you can learn a little bit more about it on the road just south of us. Right around here. And basically there's a note that says, complete the delivery. Whatever you do, do not open the chest. I repeat, do not open the chest. You will die if you open the chest. And I believe it. I believe you will die. If you leave the chest closed and do this mission for these guys, they wind up being a very big help. Oh, look at that. The speedy reply. Another momentum item. Very interesting. Uh, they ended up being very, very useful because they have one of the best bows in the game. You can get it all in Act 1. It actually shows up in multiple locations, but this is the earliest you can get it. So I think because I helped them, I don't have to do anything. And so is the chest, more importantly. Yeah, the chest is fine. We don't need to do anything with these guys. I think we're legitimately going to go to sleep. And nothing bad's going to happen when we go to sleep. Dude, so much bad stuff happens every time we go to sleep. You know something bad's about to happen. My, my guess is it's going to be Vampire Boy tonight. Oh, I was wrong. I promised I'd be back. A lark. Oh, lark. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. Well, you are the world's strongest, handsome, you haven't been co using most courageous, the power. and strongest Gideon. You think you don't need it. <laughs> But things haven't gone as you expected. You thought Nettie might be able to help you in the Druid's Grove. But all she did was try to kill you. Yeah, that sucked. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. If I can control it, Kalark, I want to. I'm done seeking solutions. Oh. Really? Good. Conserve your energy. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. The parasites were merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. What do you know so much about these tadpoles, Kalark? I have kept a careful watch on the movements of the cult. Though the absolute aims are not yet clear to me. Its methods are... These parasites are more than illithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the absolute. And believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. Yeah. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. You already saved me once, Kalark. How is it that you protect me? I have powers of my own. Unique powers. But know that we are alike. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. 
I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. Wait, what do you need me to do, Kalark? The power I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can. But sooner or later, I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. But I am one of them! <laughs> the source of their magic. Destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Hey, look who made it back to the base. Hey, little buddy. Name on the dog's collar. Scratch. Hey, Scratch. I'm going to give him some pets. Shadowheart approved of the pets. Yeah, good boy. I love that. I love that so much. I love that you could just keep petting him too. Just an infinite loop of pets. Well, we have one more thing left to do before the sun sets a little too much on today's episode. With the cave defended, you'll notice that the chest that was in here is now missing. If we follow up with where he told us to go, we could be very well rewarded. The problem is that Joaquin's rest is very on fire at the moment. You see, this was the place the goblins went to originally and raided. When we found the goblins, this is what they were celebrating. I'm just going to give them a quick helping hand with that front door. It does look pretty sturdy, but a few more sticks should bring it down. Someone's trapped upstairs! Guys, the door's open. Come on, get get through there. There is a little cutscene with that if you decide to interact with it. If you pass a strength check, you can kick it down. But, you know, I think that way's always been pretty efficient. I enjoy doing it that way. There is a, another broken door further into the burning building. We can do the same thing, just taking this down with our hand crossbow bolts. Fun fact, there is an item you can only get from one of these defenders. And they only show up in the game during this fire. I think it's a melee weapon of some kind. So if you're interested in that, make sure you're chatting up everyone in here. I'm afraid Papa thanks must wait. Yeah, I was trying to leave. Well, what we're really after is actually right over here this way. The fire might be spreading a little bit too far for me, but we have some water that we can just throw. Oh my God. Fresh air. At last. Yeah. Your boldness is a blessing. I'm in your debt. Yes, you are. Counselor, are you all right? It takes more than mere fire to break me, Eva. Now listen close, Fist. Duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward. Oh. If my eyes and ears can be believed. Gauntlet, report to the man and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. So one of the drow I know? On, counselor. The rest of you, count the dead. Take word of their sacrifice to this city. And you, I must ask again for your aid. Please, rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. The council will reward you for your effort. May I trust you'll see it through? Uh, a duke? I owe no fealty to the nobles of the upper world. <laughs> this is such a dwarf thing to say. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, you gotta find somebody else. I'm sorry. I see your goodwill has limits. Yeah. Far be it from me to stretch them. Yeah, yeah. Should you hear word of Ravenguard, seek me out. 
I will not fly far. Fist to work. Really awkward when the enemy is trying to talk with you. The Jolt Shooter here, we made a video about, about the Lightning Archer, if you ever want to uh, dip your toes in. None of these items are particularly great for me, but I could see myself maybe using the Halberd just for fun. Now I'm going to take this water that we looted earlier and just toss that onto the path, which gives me a safe spot to jump on, and then I can move around to the other side without being lit ablaze. You could see Astarian didn't quite follow the rules like he should have there. And Shadowheart's really having a hard time figuring out what to do there, too. Oh, the ox is already dead over here. Behind these boxes is the room. This is the spot Rugen marked. Doesn't look like much. That's marked on our map. In front of us, an oil barrel, which I'm going to immediately pick up. You spot a man crouching between the shelves, just as he spots you. Put that away! Put that away! Uh, little Serpent Lock Shadow! Oh, hell's orbs. I thought you were flaming fist. Well, down you go then. They'll be on us soon. So if you're looking to trade, you best be quick. Entrance is hidden behind the wardrobe. Here's the key. Thanks, my good man. Shadowheart figure out that area yet? <laughs> Shadowheart, you have to use your legs? Maybe it's because she doesn't have any strength. She can't conceive the idea of jumping no and using her muscles. Well, I'm going to pick that up. What I've been doing with every explosive barrel that we find is just sending it to camp. Moving All of your ahead. things show up inside a nice tidy chest, and I think I have probably around a dozen explosive barrels in there right now. Who knows when you're going to need them for a rainy day. The area that we are walking into is kind of like a thief smuggler place, is my understanding of it. Just because we know the password to get in doesn't mean we immediately know what to do now that we're in here. The wardrobe in the corner is not a wardrobe in the corner. It leads to hidden stairs and a nice teleporter over here. If we were not welcomed in this establishment, we would find out right about, eh, like right about now, as we get spotted. That's far enough. What's your business, Daddy? By the lookout. Answer honestly and maybe we'll kill you clean. Hey, we know that guy! Little Serpent Long Shadow! Hold on. That's the lad who saved us from the knolls. Let him in. You revealed our location. That tongue gets any looser, Rugen. I'll cut it out. Come down, then. Seems you're a friend of the family. Yep, that's me. And we get a little bit of inspiration for that. Now, we did not pass the perception check, so Dungan has no idea there's one. There's pressure plates, and there's a switch inside this place where they can call down mines to stop us from proceeding. This is the guy that you does it. You anything. You're dead. Yeah, I'm not planning on touching anything thing at all except for that smoke powder barrel i do kind of want that are you guys leaving soon can i loot this place when you're gone well the main reason we're coming up here is to talk to zaris did i say that right i owe you one for saving my people the zenterim look out for their own even if it's rugen that's worth some coin and my thanks our trader can show you some of our more exotic items now, but don't delay. This place is likely to be rubble soon. Oh, they're going to blow it up. What are you planning? Someone kidnapped a duke right on our bloody doorstep. The Flaming Fist will need someone to blame. I don't plan on it being us. Oh, well, that does make sense. As a quest reward, we receive Harald, which is a crossbow. When you deal damage to a target with a ranged weapon, it must succeed a charisma saving throw or be banged? Oh! Very interesting weapon. That's not why I'm here, though. We just unlocked the good stuff from this vendor, Brim. And I need to see the good stuff. Well, don't you cut a fine figure. Want your portrait done? At least I thought it was him. My pet artist will make you a most heroical likeness. 
Listen, I did that quest line once, and it took me two fucking hours on stream. I don't know if I want to do it again. The Titan String Bow is what is on sale. It is blue in my game. I believe it is green on the normal difficulty. Just means we have to spend more money to get it. If I want to invest a thousand gold, we can have basically a weapon that would last us until the very end of the game. You could argue that this is the best in slot bow if you want to take advantage of the strength modifier. And what we mean by that is Dungan here has negative one to his strength modifier. However, there are potions just like this one right here that can increase our strength to 21. Suddenly strength is my highest stat for the entire day. The Titan String Bow, if you use this, which we normally do, you know, exploit an elixir of some kind. And I don't say that as like a game breaking thing. Uh, but if you wanted to do that, it is a lot of damage. There are items that I can hold in my hand that would make the Titan String Bow deal a lot of damage. Are we unpacking? I am not we going unpacking? to spend a thousand gold for a weapon I'm not intending to use though. That may be one of the best bows in the entire game. But I have plans for Dungan, don't you worry. Big plans. This is where we're gonna end today's episode. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. We'll be back again soon with more of Dungan's escapades. Make sure you check back. Make sure you subscribe so it's easier to check back. Appreciate you. See you soon.